lot of issues. Um, first of all, nursing is hard work, which a lot of people don't appreciate, meaning they don't understand that it's not uh, the glamorous uh, lifestyle that you see on television. And once uh, student, and the other thing, students getting into nursing school really have to be very strong students. So many times, I, I think some part of the educational system in terms of the students we get, they have not. They want to be nurses, but they haven't studied what it takes to be a good nurse. So you got to first start with a good product, strong in the math and sciences, and uh, certainly good in communication skills and people-oriented folk, not just people who want to go into nursing because they think it pays a good salary. So lots of issues um, from my perspective, but um, uh, from your perspective, um, pay is not not one of the greatest issues. It may be number two, but I, I, I don't think most nurses uh, start there. Many come into nursing thinking that they will get a better salary than average. So, uh, but what they have to do to get that salary is probably the issue, not not the pay, but the work behind this, the, the pay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And um, in your experience in working as a nurse, um, and I know we were speaking earlier, you said um, uh, specifically recognition. Right. Uh, could mm -hmm. you speak more on that? Recognition goes to the fact of um, the nursing, the health care team in a hospital, and, and I don't want to relegate to hospitals, but that's where most people start, but um, consists of a doctor, the nurse, uh, radiologist, uh, the dietitian, and so forth, and uh, the nurse is a very, very important member of that team, but often they are not recognized as such by the uh, community, by the public, maybe even by doctors. I think doctors on the whole recognize that we are quite an important part of the team, but it's not, we're not, um, what's the word, um, awarded uh, recognition for that, except within our own um, profession, for the most part. All right, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. And um, in the article it mentioned uh, a lot of hospitals are bringing in nurses from other countries um, to work in the United States, and that's one thing that is keeping the pay rate lower. Um, because they are willing to work for lower wa lower wages. Do you have any specific opinions on that? Um, I my my opinion on that is um, not very well informed. I know that there are lots of uh, foreign nurses being brought into the country. They are coming because they know that they can get jobs. Um, they may be paid a somewhat lower salary. I would need to investigate how much lower, but the need is there. So wherever there is a need, often uh, you can find. Uh, internationals who will come and work. Um, in the larger cities, this might be true. Um, in the South, uh, there are some uh, nurses being brought in, and perhaps they're not being started at the same pay, but people are, are aware of the pay scale. And if they have the same credentials, they often will request the same pay. So I, I would like to see more data on the discrepancy in the pay scale. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And um, from speaking to a few nurses, um, uh, and reading this article, it seems that one common complaint or one common um, improvement that uh, nurses would like to see is working conditions and understaffing. Can you speak more on that? Working conditions, I would probably agree because we have many nurses, uh, some of our students who go out and they work for about one year and then they're deciding that they're going to go back to graduate school or they're changing their, their work or place. And that is for some reason. Um, as you may or may not know, most nurses or most hospitals offer a 12-hour shift, which is usually a 7 a.m. to 7 p. or 7 p.m. to 7 a. And that's a 12-hour shift. I've worked that shift a number of times, and, and from my perspective, all I did was work and go home and go to sleep and get up the next morning and go to work again. Now, some nurses like that shift because they can't. it gives them days off during the week. It gives them time to maybe get a second job and earn extra money. But it, so it depends on the person, but I do think in those 12 hours, that's a long day, and there's a lot of work to be done. And I think the hospitals did um, institute that to try to um, cover the shifts better, which would reduce the complaints of nurses, but at the same time, I think they've created another um, monster. So I think you would have to also ask working nurses whether they really like the 12-hour shift. Personally, I don't. And... Um, the other thing about, what was the second part of your question? Um, it was the understaffing, so that um, a lot of nurses say they can't really get the job done properly or get the job done well because there's not enough staff. Often there is understaffing in terms of um, nurses having, say, vacation days and sick days. So um, I think a lot of nurses get burned out. They, and when they feel too uh, overworked or what have you, they may just call in sick. 
So that means the uh, agency has, the hospital has to find someone to replace them or the nurses who are on duty that day are the ones who are left with the care of the patient. And uh, they have to pull somebody from another floor who may not be familiar with that floor or the clients, the patients. Th so therefore it does create a degree of stress and certainly um, working conditions that are not um, ultimately, ultimately the best working conditions. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Ms. Rowland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.